All right, today I would like to explain to you what your asynchronous on your own time work for period six, which is uh, game design and theory. Um, this is your independent work for the week of 831. This goes until the 9-4 uh, Friday. So this is your work for period number six. So to get going, I wanted to share with you that you did start and you did complete your uh Storyboard. So your storyboard has your own little story. This is um, my, my little one. I just started out saying, okay, I was at my house. I went to my house. Um, I have some arrows going inside. And then inside I did some, I was watching some TV. This is a very baseline. I, as you can see, I don't have anything over here. It was not required. However, if you did have anything where you had a caption or a text or anything like that, that was the couple of things I did want you to have. So with that being said, that is some of the most important things to go on. So what I did want you to do is now we're going to take that storyboard that you worked on and we're going to turn it into real life. So your storyboard is based on whatever um, uh, life story from over the summer. That was your assignment was to change and use that there. But now what we're going to do is that we're going to make that and bring it to life. So I'm going to use that by playing a game. So I'm transitioning back into my little Roblox. So I'm going to use Roblox to be able to explain to you what my game was. So I'm going to go through, I'm, and I have my own little Roblox world. You have your own. Um, I'm just going to choose Roblox because this is something that's easy. Um, it's something where it's customizable. I can always do a little bit more with it. However, Roblox is kind of where I'm going to be at for this one because it is so customizable and I'm able to do um, so many different little activities with it. If you want to use Fortnite, Fortnite's great. Um, please avoid uh, programs and games that are not in school appropriate, as in Call of Duty, GTA. Yes, GTA does have a really great sandbox open world. However, the content inside that game is not school appropriate i like to consider roblox the school appropriate uh, grand theft auto because you are able to do everything you need to in a sandbox world and we'll explain what sandbox is a little bit later but by having the sandbox world saying that you can play along and do what you want inside it it does make it very easy to customize and create games and your own storyline so that is exactly what we're going to do here so today i'm going to have be in my little cabin Obviously, as you can see, there's no one around us because we're in the quarantine. So what I, I had in my little storyboard was that I was home. I was sitting down. Let's see if I can get sitting down. And I literally was watching TV. Obviously, I don't have a TV up here, but when I design this cabinet a little bit more, I can add that. I can add the TV to it. Uh, but right now, I'm just enjoying a fireplace all by myself because that's where we are at. What I would like you to do this week is to go through... And be able to record, screen grab, whatever you want um, to be able to up. I want you to upload your screen grab. This could take maybe about 30 seconds of length of your video or it might be five minutes. Whatever it is, depending on your situation, you can change that up and you can do your own thing. However, for this one right here, it is I want you to screen grab your work and stream not stream technically what i want you to do is i want you to to record what you storyboarded so i storyboard this right here saying that i went to my house and i watched a whole bunch of tv this is just the example for you so i did watch some tv we're going to do some things um but what i want you to do is now record it now for recording, you have multiple different options on how you're going to be able to do this or able to do this. Um, the first thing is if you are in an Android or iPhone device, you can always just do a screen recording right through there. I am not requiring it for you to use a computer on this one. If it is easier for you to use an iPhone, iPad, Android device, go for it, enjoy it, have some fun with it. It would be great. Um, the other option is that we do have access to a program called WeVideo. So WeVideo does have a lot of robust different features. Uh, for you to be able to log into it, what you need to do is go to the following website. So let's get to it. So what you need to do is you need to go on to Clever on Clever. As you can see, you may have it here. I have it right here under My Teacher Resources, but you might have it in a different location as well. But when I click that, I can log in and it brings me to my WeVideo account. 
inside my Wii Video account, it is we're going to create something new. But what we're going to create is a recording. So we're going to record some things. And we can either record from the webcam, the screen, or also the webcam and screen. So depending on however you want to do this, this is up to you. Uh, I'm recording through a different program, so my, I will not be able to use my webcam on this. But if you want to, you can do it. So as you can see, I'm going to. Uh, it says that it's going to need permission. I hit allow. I allow that right there. It tells me which microphone it's going to be. And then what I can do is I can choose which screen I'm going to record on. As you can see, I currently have three screens on my computer. So I have multiple options for that. So as you can see, I am recording it. And now it is recording my screen. I can go right back into over here and I can start doing my recording just like that, blah, blah, blah. As you can see on the bottom, it says that it is recording this right now. I can, I can record my little story saying that I am all by myself. As you can see, there's no one around. There's so much to not do around there. So I decide to go home. And when I go home, I said, oh, there's nothing else to do. I'm just going to take a seat and watch some TV. So I, and that's just my very quick little story. Obviously, your story is going to be a lot more uh, engaging and you're going to spend some more time on it. But I'm going to hit that stop recording. When I hit that stop recording, I can go back into my my Wii video. When I go back into Wii video, it tells me very uh, well. And, it, uh, and you, it, now it is recording my screen. I can go right back into over here. And as you can hear and see that it has recorded everything that I did. I press save, it goes into my save to little account right there. It says that I did for 36 seconds. I am going to add that into my video. And when I am done, and when I've exported this, it is going to be exported as a MP4 or video format. And what you are going to do is upload that final product to your weekly assignment. So your final product is your video um, your video of you explaining what you storyboarded of what you did over the summer. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If you have anything that you want to talk about, uh, make sure that you throw it in the, uh, the comments below. Give it a like, subscribe, and turn those notifications on because you know that you're going to need to know what you're going to be learning next.